Now, here are some tips to being successful. Any one of these three that you neglect, you're not going to be successful. Successful people do these three things. Typical affiliate marketers. First, I'll tell you what the wrong way to do this is, and then we'll explain these three tips right here. Typical affiliate marketers go and they find a product, they get some keywords, they throw together a campaign, and boom, they do it. They spend some money, and they see if they make any money. If they lose money for a long time, then they quit, and they start over. Now, the problem with that is, without a vision, the people perish. Okay? Um, setting attainable goals is one of the things that's going to help you benchmark your progress. So don't just hit this blindly. Set realistic goals. Like this month, I want to make $500 in affiliate commissions that's in my pocket. Okay, when all is said and done, I've got $500 extra this month in my pocket. And then next month, you can double that. And easy. Once you start learning the process of this, let me tell you something about this. This is one of those kind of... Uh, you know, you just set it in motion, and it's a multiple revenue stream. You get one product, one campaign going, and then you kind of leave it alone. You babysit it a little bit. There's some things that I'll tell you every once in a while that you do. But after about 60 days, you don't fool with it that much anymore. It just makes you money. So what do you do? Well, you set up another one while that one's running. And then when you got that going, you set up another one. It's nothing to be making ten grand a month off of, you know, all these different uh, systems that you've got going just from ClickBank affiliate marketing. Now, the second thing here, and this is what most people totally blow over, and that is track. I cannot stress enough, track, track, track everything you do, track it. Because if you don't, this is where people fail. Like, let's say that I'm spending, um, well, let's just say I've got, like, three keywords in a campaign, okay? I got three keywords, and one of them I'm spending $500 a month on, and another one I'm spending, you know, $100 a month on, and another one I'm spending 250 on, for example. Well, on the one that I'm spending 500 I'm just spending all this money. I'm spending $850 a month, and I'm making a certain amount of sales, and I'm and I think, oh, this is great. I'm making more money than I'm spending, and I'm in love with it. Well, what if you found out that the keyword that you're spending five hundred dollars a month on, nobody ever buys when they click on that? Wouldn't you like to drop that? Yeah, I would. If you don't do any tracking though, you don't know. And that's where a lot of affiliate marketers are at. They don't know. So they've got those keywords there. They're spending all the money, and they're clearing a profit. And that's all they can do. They can just leave it alone and say, great, I'm making you know, some money. If they dropped that keyword, it'd be like, whoa, now I'm really making some money. Not only that, but what if you've got a keyword? What if you just budgeted to spend $100 on a keyword? And... Almost every time somebody clicks on that, they sell. But because you've, like, capped the budget there, you're not making as many sales as you could be when you, if you would just focus your financial resources on that keyword that works, then, you know, bam, you're making all kinds of more money. So that's the kind of thing that we need to track. Also, when you move it from, you know, you're tracking on the level of, which keywords are working in Google. Also, when we move things over to MSN or uh, Yahoo, you want to track things differently over there. When you get traffic, you know, something's going to convert differently on Yahoo than it'll convert on Google. And it's just because the people are different. The users are different. I don't know why, but what I have found is that people that are on Google are a little bit different than people that are on Yahoo and MSN. Same thing. Now, scale, what is that all about? Well, the principle that I'm going to be teaching you in this course is that you go out and you find some ClickBank products that work, 
Okay? But you get rid of the ones that don't work, and then you take the ones that do work, and you ramp them up. Okay, so at first, let's just say we're going to spend, you know, three or $400 a day on a specific campaign because we're testing it. We want to see if it's going to be profitable. Uh, what I want to show you how to do is get in there like a sniper. You're like, hit the one that really counts. Okay, so what I want to show you how to do is get, find out very quickly and with minimal impact to your wallet which campaigns don't work and which campaigns will work. And then you take the ones that are working and you scale them up. If I'm spending three or $400 a day and I'm making $800, okay, so I'm clearing, you know, like $300, let's say, well, you can be sure that if I can scale that up and put another zero behind my ad spend, I'm putting another zero behind my bottom line too. Okay, so if I'm spending five hundred dollars a month and making eight hundred with a net profit of three hundred, what if I spent five thousand dollars and I could make eight thousand dollars and make a net profit of three thousand dollars? That's what I mean by scaling up. The more once you find out that something is working and you've got a good combination, your ads work, your landing page works, the offers converting, once you find that magic combination. All you want to do, the thing that keeps you back, is traffic. So we scale it up, and we send more traffic, and then that in turn makes us a ton more money.